What's going on, buddy? Soliaka here. And after finding out a little bit more about what was going on here, they say it's a little gray area because I wasn't a vendor. I was allowed to be there, but they did say that that was probably the reason why they told me that I couldn't be there was because I had a sign and I set up a table. Even though there were other people at this event that had tables and chairs that just didn't have signs. But anyway, that wasn't really my concern. My concern was that some random guy walked up to me and told me I couldn't be there. And, you know, I guess, uh, you know, would you listen to him? I don't know. You tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. All that good stuff. And let's get into this video. Soliaker, deuces. Part of Main Street. No, I'm just here for the festivity. I know, but we rent these spots off for fifty dollars oh, no, right there because you can't tell me what to do. I know, but this is for me. I'm not. I'm just public, man. I'm just telling you, we all pay to sit here. I know, but we pay to sit here. That's why. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you go outside over there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's out of the that's out of the permanent area if I'm not mistaken, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be good to go. Well, it's just out of curiosity, like there's a lot of people with chairs and all that stuff. Why are they not being targeted? I'm, I'm not targeting the, the I, I know they, 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 they say it's a permanent event. Well, yeah, yeah, they're saying that you're setting up as a vendor. I'm not, I'm not selling it. I know you understand you're not selling anything. You get what I'm saying? You're setting up a table. I guess there's people that have tables and chairs. But I'm not arguing, I'm just saying people from I'm the event. Move over to the grass. That's fine. I'm not oh, I'm not messing with you. No, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to decipher where it is, that line. You know, I think, I honestly, I think. Because I'm going to go right there. I would assume grass. that outside of oh, this is where. We'll see where those people are right back over there in the red, the red, uh, the red chairs. Yeah, right, that grassy area right here. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I'm, 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 I'm let me just make, let me just find out where there, I'll check your permit and find out where it is, because I don't want to set you up and get in trouble. Let me go I, yeah, yeah, yeah. find out, yeah. Before, I, I just don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get in trouble either, but, you know. Yeah, don't like, worry, just start packing up for me and I'll yeah, find yeah, out where yeah. you go. Yeah, man, so you're, you're good, just outside of the grass. No problem, buddy, how's it going? Me too. Yeah. No, 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 no. No governor today. I don't need to call the police on, <laughs> on a constitutionally protected activity. You know? It's just like a waste of resources to me. 
That's okay. I got. I told, I told you. I told you. I yeah, yeah. I, I got no qualms with you. My qualms is with that guy that's calling you guys for nothing. You know, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't harming nobody. I ain't taking. And I'm not. And I'm not even taking his business. You know what I mean? I'm not even doing nothing. So that's okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make sure uh, people know who he is. Yeah, man. We're just gonna go right over here. Actually, we're gonna post up right behind this guy, right over here. Thank you, bud. What if I was out here saying something about Biden? What if I was saying something about Trump? That could be political. I guess, but it is. It's not political. Probably not. But I don't know. It's definitely not. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a con. Although, it's one of the most political things you could actually be involved in because oh. without politics, you can't function. You're either going to have a First Amendment or not have a First Amendment. Oh, it's already been written. You're either going to have First Amendment and Second Amendment with politics or not. Without the politics, you don't have them. Just oh. politics were created. It could no, it was tyranny. Tyranny created the Constitution. Right, but the Constitution is a political thing. It's a political document. No, it was telling people, hey, these are your God-given rights, and if you want to use them, they are at your disposal. But you can't separate that can. right from politics. Yeah, I can. That's how you create it. Um, my gun doesn't vote. But if you don't vote, you won't keep your right. You won't keep it if you don't vote. Well, it's already written. It's already been written. Trust me. Ten minutes. How much they love the Second Amendment. So, because I'm a Second Amendment, I'm, I'm a perfect. Then you're gonna, then you're gonna appreciate. But the point is, that voting is what keeps and keeping. Bottom line. No. Because politics is what controls all. No. Remember 1776. When we won against the British, right? Right. Right. If the government does what you're trying to say, if I don't vote, and all these politicians are like, oh, get rid of the guns, you think there's gonna be another revolution? Do you think that the people, the gun owners that don't believe in that would stand up and fight against the government, the tyrannical government, like we did in 1776? Yeah, but it's a different world. Oh, it, it's gonna, yeah, if they keep going down this, this route, it's going to be another different world for them. Right, uh, and you really think, you really think this is being made with weapons that you're disposal? Yes. Safe. That's what keeps the government from doing what they're doing. It does do that, yeah. but if it ever came to what you're saying, it's an actual revolution. It only takes three percent to defeat the British. The minimum don't have a chance. Not yeah, minimum. It only took three percent of this country to defeat the biggest, the largest army in the world. It was a different three percent. Right? Different world. What? Four hundred million guns isn't going to defeat a friggin' so, You think the people that are in the military are going to go and shoot up the people? Well, that would be the only safe fact. That is, that's that's the only factor that I would say you got to worry about. So, who's is Biden picking up the gun to come fight us? No. He's going to say, hey, government, hey, mili hey, Army, Marines, Air Force, you need to go destroy the Americans that we're taking away their guns. You don't think that's going to happen? They can try, and there's going to be a lot of bloodshed, but we, a lot of bloodshed was to fight for our freedoms that we have today. And if we don't stand up and say something about our rights, we are going to lose those rights. Right. And that's, and that's why I'm the here. Point. But it's I also, was the only way to hold on to the rights without bloodshed is to vote. Go express your rights on the That's the goal, is to make sure that you have politicians that protect your rights. That's I right. Right. That's the, second the, the, the Second, second Amendment right. protects all the rights. Every one of them. Every one of them. I'm not picking choosing. Oh, okay. All our rights.